Hello, we are here at Automation Expo and we have with us Mr. Samir from HMS. So, sir, can you tell me what new innovations and solutions have HMS got here at Automation 2025 Expo? Yes, so, first of all, uh, thank you for asking that question. And uh, every year we come with new products and innovative uh, solutions for the various industries. And uh, this year the exhibition looks uh, pretty big as compared to the previous year. So, uh, nice footfall at the uh, so far, so good. Uh, this year we have come up with two, three new innovative products uh, and our theme is around cyber security and industrial internet of things and uh, how we can uh, help customers in improving their shop floor uh, uh, efficiency and all those things. So we have a product called Anibus Defender which is basically uh, uh, cyber security compliant uh, shop floor, OT uh, floor uh, firewall and uh, network security solution. And then we also have some additional new products in our uh, network diagnostic domain. We have a lot of new launches in uh, with additional features in our IoT uh, uh, area. So all in all, we have uh, quite a few new uh, things coming in the uh, SaaS side also, like the software as a service uh, domain. So yeah, I mean we we request everybody to come to our booth at I I A one A in Hall six and. Uh, I mean, uh, look at, uh, look at, go through our products and uh, ask questions if you have anything. So you mentioned IIoT products. So can you brief us what services do you have in? So in, uh, I mean, I, we have all the solution in IIoT. So these days, customers, there are various different type of customer problems. So some people they want to retain their existing install base or the investment they have done few years back. With the advancement in technology, it forces them to go to a new newer platform or technology, but they don't want to. So we help those customers in optimum use of their existing automation platform while they also get all the latest technological uh, uh, advantages that the IoT platform brings. And in the process, they are able to then take informed decisions to improve their overall equipment efficiency or the plant efficiency, reduce crap or reduce uh, increase their uh, production and all those things so uh, we have a lot of products uh, in, in that area and uh, we we are a in the platform independent thing so we support all the major automation platforms to integrate with uh, with the various uh, solutions in database or cloud or uh, opc and all those things over last few years technology has drastically changed so what uh, problems have your customers come up to you like what are the major problems that you you have seen they are facing and how have you helped them few areas where customer these days have a high degree of focus is one is they want to know their utility consumptions or their electricity consumption and all those things so they want to implement a lot of energy management solutions where they can make the optimum use of each and every uh, device and uh, uh, reduce their uh, utility consumptions and in a way improve their profitability or efficiency. Secondly, there are, as I earlier said, there are plants which are working on technologies which are say 10 years old or 15 years old or some are five year old or very latest technology also. Now how you integrate or how do you continue using these different technologies which are working on different platforms, right? Or different protocols and still make the optimum use of them to run your daily operations at the same time you are, should not be forced to change your uh, i mean migrate the system and uh, unnecessarily upgrade it when it is not required so getting the optimum or the maximum output of an existing system or an install base or a, a plant uh, is what the customers are looking for but in that there are several challenges with respect to the technological advancement so will a system installed 10 years back will still be able to support or be able to be easily migrated or easily upscaled. That, that is where we come in and we help customers in uh, networking their plant and then giving them an IoT solution on top of that from where they can get any kind of data to take informed decisions. Can you tell me what are your next few year plans for Indian market? Oh, so we, I mean, in India, we are growing very fast. Uh, last, last year, HMS acquired uh, Redline Controls, which is a US based company. We also acquired another company called Peak Systems in Germany. So uh, we, as a company listed in NASDAQ Europe, we are constantly 
uh, growing organically as well as inorganically. We have a strong R&D setup in India. We have sales and support office, and we have all the functions. Uh, so we and India is an important market for us. So uh, India, uh, because it is the one of the fastest growing large economies, and there are a lot of investments uh, in all sectors. So we do have products and solutions or technologies for all kind of applications and industries, and that's why uh, India remains our highest focus. We have a lot of investments coming into the. Uh, the R&D side and then the sales and uh, application engineering and various other functions. Uh, we do plan to someday also think of India as a manufacturing location. Thank you. Thank you.